guys, welcome back. If you don't like makeup, then I would click away from this video. If you do like makeup, I can already tell it's gonna be a long video. So grab a vape, grab a drink, grab your makeup, and let's get started. So today I am looking at my December play box by Sephora. I'm so excited. This is a monthly sample box from Sephora. You get five to six samples every month for about $10. And then I'm also looking at my very first Jeffree Star cosmetic purchase. I am so excited. So I'm going to be unboxing this December box as well as my first purchase from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Then I'm going to talk about past products in my past boxes, if I've used them, what I thought of them, and then show you some new products that I bought from Sephora as well. Well, so I and I have quite a few because the last video I did was in November and then we had Black Friday and I totally splurged on Black Friday and got a bunch of stuff from Sephora so let's get started this is actually the first play box that I haven't actually taken a peek yet I got this today the day that I'm filming this so it's still sealed but we're gonna change that with this little bargain knife and we're gonna see so I think um, December's box is Part, is a party goer theme. So I'm hoping for some like, I don't know, sparkly. I don't know, I'm so excited. Oh, <laughs> there it is. All right, so we have the card. And this card you can take in for expert advice, but when you buy something with this card, you get 50 extra beauty insider points. And my first play box came in August. So August, September, October, November, December. So within five months, I became a VIB, which is a very important beauty insider. So the beauty insider is the points you can collect and then they have VIB and then they have VIB rogue. And I became a VIB because I've literally gone from no high-end makeup, all drugstore makeup in August to all high-end makeup very little to no, no drugstore makeup. Like I'm still using some things from the drugstore because I'm not gonna waste them. Oh my God, it just looks so pretty. There's so much rose gold. And this, I'm not gonna look, but I'll let you guys look real quick. This shows you all the products in the box, tells you how to use them, about them and everything. So I'll definitely be keeping that. Oh my God. So up until now, all the little baggies that I've gotten have been white. Oh, this one is so cute. This says, I take the party with me. This is my favorite bag. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. And this is, I don't know, maybe this is probably the same size. It just kind of looks a little bit bigger. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, this, uh, this feels big. Sounds big. Wow. Detox dry shampoo. Absorbs oils and freshens hair. Dry bar. Mm, I kind of want to smell it, but I don't want to waste it because... Girl, I love me some dry shampoo. I do not wash my hair every day. I don't even wash my hair every other day, if I can help it. But my hair is so oily. My skin and my hair are reversed. I have the oiliest hair ever. One day without washing it and I need a dry shampoo or I just put it up in a messy bun or something because it's so oily that it's like literally one day and it's so oily and then my skin like my facial skin is so dry that I need some sort of creams and stuff which I'll actually get into later on in this video so I'm excited to try this I have only ever used you know a uh, grocery store dry shampoo like suave that is the only like brand that I think I've ever used Oh my God, so next, oh, let me put that over there. I'm so excited for that, you guys. Oh, I can't, I cannot already, like I'm already, how do I pronounce, how do I say that right? I already can't wait for next month's box, January, just so I can tell you if I loved this or not compared to the cheap Suave brand. Okay, what is this? Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Smoky eye mascara. It doesn't sound like it's gonna be black to me. It sounds like it's gonna be gray. But this looks pretty black. I actually like the wand. So this is a sample mascara, which I am super excited for because I'll say right now, just because it's not like over here in the pile, I got Tartist Tarte Lash Paint 
Um, that's the first high-end mascara, and I just went in there on a whim because I never actually got a sample of mascara from the box yet, and I just didn't want drugstore mascara anymore. I wanted a nice, really expensive, like high brand mascara so I didn't have to put falsies on. I wanted to take a break. I'm actually wearing falsies now, but I bought that, and I'm already, like I've been using it a lot, and I'm already like, I feel like there could be a better one, which I'm probably gonna get next, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Everyone's been recommending that everyone online and everyone in my real life So that's probably gonna be the next one that I try if I don't like fall in love with that Bobbi Brown mascara Who knows? I don't know. I have never actually heard of that brand. Okay, what's next? There's like a lot of paper. Okay, this looks like okay. This is the Sephora cream lip stain Open open. Oh, I don't want to ruin it. I want to open it nicely. It doesn't want to open nicely, guys. All right, there we go. Okay, ooh, always red. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I hope this is, oh, wait a minute. Hang on, guys. <sighs> Cream lip stain set. And I got this. Let me tell you, this was gonna be something that I talked about after my unboxing, but because I got this in the box, this was actually a free sample that I got with one of my Black Friday purchases, and there's four colors, and I love the colors, and I was so excited because I want a red lip color. I don't have a higher end red lip color yet, and I used the purple one right here, and I, like I was gonna say this later, I was not impressed. I mean, versus this, what I'm wearing right now, which is a Smashbox liquid lipstick, I, I wasn't really impressed. I am going to give it another go, but damn, I hope, man, I hope this, I'm going to give it another shot, but I did want to bring up the fact that uh, versus the Smashbox liquid lipstick that I get, this, it, it didn't last, it didn't last on my lips, this purple color, and I got this one, so we'll see. I'll give it another shot and I'll come back with another update, but that's why this was in this pile because I was going to say that I am not a, impressed with the Sephora collection lip stains, so I'm going to put these over here because I already talked about them, but, um, and then there's all these colors. I was so excited, and I think, uh, Lois, Loie, Laney, one of the makeup gurus on YouTube just did, like, 20 four 29 swatches of the Sephora lip stick and I'm wondering what she said about them because I wasn't impressed and I'm not a beauty guru at all I'm just somebody who's trying them now and I I wasn't impressed so like for her to be like oh they're so good that might be like sponsored <laughs> who knows anyways ooh, makeup forever step one skin equalizer smoothing primer cool I'm excited okay so right now I'm just, just looking at it so right now I'm using the Smashbox primer, um, pore minimizing primer, and I did get the Color FX Illuminating Primer, which I'm going to try next. I did buy a big bottle of the Smashbox because I liked it, didn't have anything to compare it to, but I'm using, I'm going to be using that next, and then I guess I'll try this one out. But for now, I'm using the Smashbox, but I am so, primers are something I would love to try different ones to find, like, the perfect one for me. Like I said, I just bought the big one. <laughs> Excuse me, my nose is running, of Smashbox because I had nothing to compare it to and it was working marvelously. Uh -huh. Okay, oh wow, what is this? Oh, I've heard of this. This is Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, long lasting. Oh my God, I'm excited. So, before this, because I'm going to try this out, I have used the uh, Makeup Forever Mixed and Fix, Fix, Mist and Fix Spray, because I saw Jeffree Star use it. Ooh, but I'm so excited to try this one out because I've seen a lot of people using this one as well. Oh, I'm so excited. Oil-free, paraben-free, temperature control technology. <gasps> that rhyme. <laughs> So I'm excited to see, like, I want to, I want a really lightweight one that's also gives you that dewy look and also long lasting. Like, I don't know if that exists, but like, that's what I'm going for. I don't have anything to compare this to except for the other one that I've been using. So now I can like use those and compare those and then come back and tell you guys. And the last thing in my box is the smelly of the month. This is Elizabeth Jane, Elizabeth Ann James Nirvana, uh, oak wood, vanilla bourbon, and bless me 
tube rose. I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but we shall see. A fragrance created by Ashley and Ashley and Mary Kate Olson. So why is it called Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon? That's what it's called. But we're gonna smell it. Mmm. Oh wow, I'm gonna wear that right now because I'm not wearing anything and I'm about to go out. Mmm. I am not picky when it comes to smells. I just don't want, the only thing I don't want in a perfume is to smell like a guy. <laughs> so that was my Sephora December box. I'm excited, oh, I'm really excited to try the primer, the dry shampoo, and the setting spray. I'm going to give the lip cream stains a second chance. Let's go on to this because I don't want, the, this is already such a long video and I feel bad like, only the people who really love makeup are gonna be here till the end. <laughs> so. Let's open this. Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm so excited. I might have to take off my current lipstick to wear this because, and this is like intense, but I had to get this. First of all, loving the pink box. It did take quite a while to get here. It arrived yesterday. No, it arrived Saturday. So what was that? It arrived the 17th. I had ordered it on the 5th and it came from California. And we have a little sheet, okay. And then we have this. Hi, Jeffrey, wow. And then the other, ooh, limited edition lip colors. So, ooh. Oh my God, I love that one. What is that name? Christana, Chrysanthem, Chrysanthem, Deceased Designer Blood, wow. Ooh, I like the designer blood. I. I might have to get the, some of these colors if this impresses me. By the way, cute wrapping. Ugh. I debated whether or not to make this its own separate video, but because it's only one product, I decided to put it in with my Sephora. Got some bubble wrap, all for this <laughs> one thing. And I believe this was $18. Loving the packaging though. Uh, never bought anything from Jeffree Star, but got so many recommendations on my last play box. This is Dream House. Oh, focus camera. Hello. Thank you. So, I actually saw this color on Jeffree Star's mouth in one of his videos, and I was like, what is that color that he's wearing? And people told me, and I was like, I need to get it. It's so so pink this is dream house oh my god it looks like it did on his lips because I was wondering if like maybe he had this color and something else you guys oh. okay someone told me on my last video oh it's so pretty let me get close up that they want it it's like so pretty well focus that they wanted swatches so I mean I guess I can swatch this right I have never done this before maybe not so much product Maybe I put too much on. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I wanna put it on my mouth. Is that is that how you swatch? It's like, is it showing up? Focus on my swatch. Look at it, look at it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And there's quite a bit of um, product in here. So this, yeah, look at it. Oh, I'm so excited. Now I gotta wash this off the back of my hand though. Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. I love the packaging. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I might have to put this on after this video before I go out. But I'm actually wearing something I'm gonna talk about too, so hang on. So I wanted to share with you, I got this in one of my past boxes. This is the Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. It's a medium, it's a medium to deep matte bronzer and I really, really loved the sample I got. So I bought the full size one. I believe this was like 30 to $40, but oh, I just, Oh, I just ruined it with my nail. But it's, uh, I love their products. They smell like chocolate. But here is the compact, and I just wanted to share with you guys that this was something that I got in the sample box, in the 
play box and I bought a big size of it because I love it. I use it all the time, but like, I don't know what I'm, I'm practicing. Just don't, just don't. And then this, I talked about Smashbox liquid lipstick in my last video and how they're $24, so I only bought one color. The last color I got was Shopaholic, I think, or Shockaholic. This one is Dream Huge, uh, Dream House and Dream Huge. And this is what I'm wearing right now, and it's it's a more toned, because the Shockaholic one was a really like vibrant pink. This is a more toned down pinky color that I really liked, and like I was saying earlier, I really want to get a red next, so I'll watch this I am probably like using way too much product on the swatch but I don't know how but you can see the difference between the dream house and the dream huge I don't know how to show you guys these properly my camera just wants to focus on my face but there is the dream huge and the dream house and that's, I'm wearing the Dream Huge on my mouth right now. So that was this and next Sephora play box, I'll probably have a red version of this or of the Jeffree Star one, depending on which one I, if I, if I like how the Jeffree Star works on my mouth. Okay, so last month was Best in Glow and I had a lot of skin things going on, like not me personally, but in the box. And I got this Claude Delay, Claude Lee. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a hydrating sorbet cream, facial cream. And so I was like, oh, I was so excited to use this because I got this sample, which I can now throw away because I'm talking about it now and I'm buying, probably gonna be buying a full size of this, but I wanted to compare the two. Definitely like this one more. This, I didn't really like the texture of it, but like, does that even matter? But when I wouldn't use it, I felt like my skin was getting drier. So after using this, for the last month, I um, decided I haven't been putting any cream on my face. I just went to, because my, my skin is really dry and it was breaking out really bad right here, which isn't, I was probably just from stress, because I don't focus facial cream there, I focus it here. So I just went to coconut oil. I'm only using coconut oil right now until my skin gets back to like its regular dry level, because it's my skin is dry. And then I'll probably be buying a full thing of this if I don't find something better as a facial cream or, I don't know, I really like coconut oil <laughs> on my face. Like anybody else use coconut oil on their face? Let me know down in the comments below. I did get this bag of mini goodies with my purchase. So I'll go through these at a later date because this video is running so long. I got this on Black Friday, which is a Sephora. It's the Delicate palette. I thought the packaging was so super cute, but this is just the cardboard packaging that the palette comes in and I'm gonna destroy it because I don't have the patience to take it off right. And here is the actual palette. Super cute, love this gold pattern. And then you open it up and you get the palette. And here are all the colors. They're pretty neutral and fun. And then it shows you how to apply them. So I got that and there's nine colors in that. Ooh and it's magnetic, so that's how it stays shut. I got the Gimme Brow for my eyebrows. It's a tinted brow gel. Somebody suggested it to me. I got it in three, and I think I should have got it in one. I think this might be a little too dark. I don't know, you guys tell me. But the bottle is super cute, comes like this, and it comes out like that, and then I'll go ahead and rub this so you guys can see. It's kind of dark, but you can really blend it out. So that's the level three blend it out um, I might try the level one or I don't know like does this look too does this look too dark let me know like I feel like it looks it's darker in person but this is the benefit gimme brow and I love this stuff I do use this with my clear brow gel on top because I just love the clear brow gel it just makes those hairs stay in place next I got a Becca um, Snapdragon is the color, and this is a blush by Becca, Luminous Blush, because I really wanted a Becca highlighter, but I, I'm not gonna waste the one I bought, and I'm gonna use that before I get a new one. Here is the compact, here is the color, so I can remove this, and that's actually what I'm using right now. I love this color. It's so pretty, and some might consider it pretty bright, but there it is. It's pretty pigmented, but you can really blend it out. Am I doing these swatches right? But I love this. I've been using it and I love it. And I what I used to think, oh, my cheeks are red enough. I don't need blush, but girl needs blush. And then I finally got a translucent then I finally got a translucent loose setting powder. Now I was gonna get the Laura Mercier, 
kind everyone talks about that everyone has that one but they didn't have that at my local sephora so i went with the kat von d it was what the girl at the sephora counter recommended me and you know what i think i'm gonna stop taking those girls recommendations <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the popular opinion on YouTube and everything. I mean, this works. I have nothing to compare it to because I haven't used any of this. This is for the baking the under eye to prevent creasing of the concealer. It's a really cute packaging. I really like this. And then like, I can't really show you, but the holes where the powder comes up are in star form. And it's a really nice powder, but I do feel like sometimes it kind of leaves a little bit of like, leaves it a little bit brighter under there. And I don't want that effect, but this is it's in the translucent color so I'm going to use it obviously this locket it's locket by Kat Von D brand I'm going to be using it all the way but I am going to get the Laura Mercier one next and last but not least my final purchase since the last time I saw you guys was this Too Faced natural eyes eyeshadow palette and I got so I got two new eyeshadow palettes and I hardly ever use eyeshadow honestly I really really suck at doing eyeshadow but I bought these this was expensive this was like 40 bucks I think I bought this in order to force myself to do eyeshadow not wearing any right now but <laughs> but I got this one and I love these colors oh my god especially this honey pot it's so pretty and this chocolate martini they're so pretty this is the one I've tried this one because you go like here here and here 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 and here 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 and here I've tried this one and I just like I said I am so bad but I love this like tin that it comes in it's nice and heavy feels secure I know that's like something I would say if I was reviewing a vape product but I like that this is like secure versus this other palette seems like I could accidentally like bend it you know or break it but they're both super cute and they will force me to do my eyeshadow and learn and become an eyeshadow pro because I am not I am an eyeshadow noob so that was all the products I bought on uh, Black Friday I will leave a link below to where you can check out the Sephora play box and Jeffree Star cosmetics if you're interested I got this little bag as a free gift and these mini samples as well as a free gift so I guess I'll just show you real quick this is the color FX custom enhanced drops moon in moonlight so this enhances a radiance that reflects and glows so it enhances like if you do eyeshadow or maybe like a cover-up or something it enhances it and I don't quite understand it but I'm really excited to use it so if you like know all about this product let me know down in the comments below because I, I do want to try it out this is the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover and it's like separated so like do you shake well do you shake it up I think you would shake it up because why would they have it separated I just use makeup removing wipes right now but I'm not wouldn't be against to using this waterproof eye makeup remover even though I don't use waterproof eye makeup I don't think my mascara and eyeliner are waterproof who knows wouldn't be opposed to trying it also got this origins modern friction nature's gentle dermabrasion I don't know what that is but it kind of scares me because it's abrasion and I derma like skin I don't know if I want that on my skin then I got this cute little Erno Laszlo New York it's got a soap and a sensitive cleansing oil in here so that was a free little sample as well like a sample within a sample bag and then we also got a smelly which oh I haven't smelled this is a Chloe 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 I don't know Oh, I love that more than what I'm wearing. Mmm. Oh, that smells really good. And also got this, which is doesn't have it it's in there somewhere. Oh my god. This is another Elizabeth and James Nirvana. This is musk for her in white. So another brand. I got that smelly in my box. And we also have a lotion yep broad spectrum defense against UV rays and pollution what? so is this lotion or is this like yeah it's like just a UV protectant lotion and last but not least oh my god okay nope I got a makeup forever artist rogue cream so that's what this is called what is it oh it is a mini lipstick and I got that okay so those are all the minis that I got with my Black Friday purchases. 
so that's it for this video I know there's been a lot of makeup I know I've asked you guys a lot of questions feel free to chat with me down below and tell me what you guys think of the things that I had questions on I would love to hear from you guys because I am just here a makeup noob trying to learn the ways of the makeup world thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you like makeup and subscribe to this channel for more videos check the description box below for a link to where to get the Sephora play box and Jeffree Star Cosmetics website that's it I this isn't a vape video so I guess I wouldn't give my vape outro um, you can follow me on social medias Twitter Instagram Facebook uh, snapchat if you want and that's it I don't really have an outro for videos that aren't vaping so <laughs> so with that being said I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching bye guys oh and really quickly I forgot to mention I got a Sephora brand um, lip gloss in my November box and I didn't really like it so there's that.